So the Galaxy S20 Ultra comes with a ton of features, but here are five reasons why you should go ahead and pick it up. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and yes, I know you're salivating about the S20 Ultra, but let's go ahead and start off with our very first reason why you should pick up this device. I'm talking about performance. Now, the S20 Ultra comes with the Snapdragon 865 processor, uh, which gives you a whole boost of performance in terms of gaming, CPU performance, AI, all that. Plus, the processor has an updatable graphics engine, so it will be updated from time to time. So as me as a gamer, I really like this. Now, you also have the ability to, up, to go up to 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is great, and it uses UFS 3.0 storage, so much faster and greater for day-to-day -day use. Now, the number two feature that I really like is the ability to dock five applications into your RAM memory pool. What this means is that, yes, you've got up to 16 gigabytes of RAM. What can you do with it? You can actually dock the applications that you use the most. So in my case, as a gamer, I lock my games in, I keep it there, I can go ahead and do something else, browse the web, send some emails, watch YouTube, come right back, and boom, I get right back into my gameplay or whatever application that I actually have docked into there. So that is really good use of that extra RAM that comes with the system. Now, our number three feature is one people have been asking for Samsung to bring, and it's finally here with the S20 Ultra. We have a 120 hertz display. It's a 6.9 inch display, lovely display, 511 PPI. But of course, you've got that fast refresh rate, so if you're browsing the web, scrolling, looks and feels smooth. When you're gaming, it just feels really nice to actually go ahead and game with it. It's fast and responsive. Plus, there's also 240 hertz touch sampling, so your, your fingers feel really responsive while scrolling and also while you're gaming. So those features really come to play and I think a lot of people will be truly amazed by it. Now, the number four feature is the brand new camera sensor. You've got a 108 megapixel sensor, which gives you a whole range of new features, right? You've got uh, the ability to capture the 408. Of, of course, you've got the nano binding that brings it down to about 20 megapixels. Uh, and uh, you've also got a lossless zoom, uh, giving you a hybrid zoom of 10X optical, and uh, of course, uh, digital and then you have lost this 100x zoom. So there's a lot of camera features there. Steady shot comes into play, uh, better low light capabilities. This camera is proving that it will be a beast and something to compete in the market. And finally, tied to the camera, but something I wanted to talk about separately that I think you would definitely like is the ability to capture 8K video at 24 frames per second, being one of the first smartphones to do it, giving you really rich, vibrant video at 8K. So if you've got a television that of course plays 4K or 8K content, you can go ahead and stream it directly to your TV set, especially all the 2020 Samsung TV sets. So there you have it guys. That is just five core features with the Galaxy S20 that I think a lot of people like. Now there are many more features this device has, like of course being a fully 5G device supporting millimeter wave and sub six. You also have, you know, a Samsung's Quick Connect, which is kind of like AirDrop. that you can send files really fast and we'll focus on those in other videos. But if you have any questions or any comments, let me know guys. Don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video and Always enjoy your entertainment.